Now that you have the position in degrees, hopefully correct, if not, uh, don't spend forever on it. Just send me an email attaching what you've done and I'll try to fix it for you or stop by or something. Um, you'll need next to get angular velocity. We do this with that first central difference method that I mentioned in class, where we take the difference in the position ahead of the row we're looking at minus the position in the row behind the row we're looking at divided by the change in time, which in this case equals uh, 2 sixtieths of a second. For your um, giant swing, there's 1 15th of a f uh, second between each frame, so you would actually put 2 over 15 in that case, since you're going over 2 rows 15th of a second each. Then enter that formula and copy it down to the second to last row. Since the formula is based on the row behind and the row ahead, we're a little bit limited there on which uh, cells we can work with. And if you like to chop down some of those extra digits, these buttons can increase and decrease the number of decimal places. With that down there, you can click and drag that to the right, which will allow you to look at the degrees column. So now we have angular velocity in radians per second and in degrees per second. And now you're ready for the next step.